us another box. The fabulous Mr. Matthew Locke obtained this for me. This is the last of my purchases from 2018. Unbox, so my New Year's resolution does officially start now. It's January when I'm filming this. Don't worry about it being June when you see it. So, what is inside? Let's have a look. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? We have, I'm just going to snap my knife clean because that's getting a little bit rubbish now. We have a lovely packed box here, very good wrapping and I want to try and save this bubble wrap because I actually need it for something else. That's why I'm opening this today because I need its packaging. What is it? Well, as you can see from the title, it is a goblin. I've got a couple of goblins now. One that I haven't filmed yet. And this is basically, and I've always wanted to own one and try one. And this was very, very cheap. Very cheap indeed. That's in fact at the charity shop near his house. So. I very quickly got in touch and said yes please because I've used one like this before. Mr. Steve Cook has several. And they're actually not bad. It was very good indeed. So as soon as I got the chance to own one, if I just chop that down there, there we go. Without cutting the box. I just need this to fill a box that I've got going out. And it'll be absolutely fine. Oh. Okay, look, oh, it's upside down. It is a boxed, I don't think it's brand new, it is a boxed Goblin Rio 800. Look at that, oh, it's got a two year guarantee. There's lots of pretty pictures, look. Nothing else to note, there's nothing really written on the box to give us any indication although there's something here important read instructions before use we might be able to do right what have we got oh this is very well packaged nice one that's it let's unwrap the whole thing ah, so there's the machine and look little two lug fitting these were cheap Cleaners for the time. This would have been the 40, 50 pound jobs. And there is the ubiquitous Goblin hose end. This is in remarkably good condition, really. So there is a little hose. We have a one plastic extension tube. Ah, we have the bent end, yes. Obviously. These are basically almost exactly the same as pneumatic, just cheaper. That goes on to there, and then the ones start to piece themselves together like so. Right, what else is there? Well, there's some more lovely packaging. We'll put that to one side. Ooh, we have a bag. Look. Ooh, what's in the bag? Now we have the crevice tool. And actually, the crevice tool, if you're buying old vacuum cleaners, the crevice tool is one of the key places to look. Because normally, when machines like this get to the age where they're chucked in the garage and used for the car or DIY, this is basically all you would get. Because they would just use the crevice tool for everything. So the fact that crevice tool look is in remarkably good condition. So this would have been from the mid 80s is very very telling indeed always check your crevice tool. this is mainly why i wanted to try it this floor tool here is surprisingly good i really liked using steve's it's just so small and flat and lovely it's a proprietary goblin one i think i haven't seen this on 
many other vacuums, the little brush strip folds down from the rear. That's lovely that is. Oh, what's in here? Ah, we have the Goblin Gulper. This was their upholstery tool. And again, that's not seen much use as well. So it's a little bit of upholstery, what's not. Oh, what's in here? We have paperwork. Oh yes we do. So we have a filter, brand new. <laughs> have the instruction manual for Goblin Handy. Not a Goblin Handy actually, so that might be interesting. Oh, lots and lots of paperwork. Right, what's this first one? The guarantee and service procedure. Oh God. Basically just a list of every service station there was. Rev 495, that could be 1995. No, it can't be 1995. These, these were before then. But, oh, where's my local one? There's Ireland, there'll be lots in Ireland because these are made in Ireland. There's one in Windsor, that's not a billion miles away from where we are. Ah, High Wycom. 30 Market Square, that would be long gone. Peterborough. First numbers are even Oxford shit. They're not in alphabetical order. <laughs> Who knows? Who cares? So there's those. We have the instructions, look. Obviously covering many, many machines. So you've got the different types of switches that they did. There's even the foot pedal one, because I think they, they just face lifted the heck out of these. Oh look, we can check that we have all of our tools, which we do. That's very nice. Blah, 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 blah. We're fine. There you go, that's revision 2 from 1986. That would be better. That would be why. And this is why you should always check your dates, you see. This is the instruction manual for that Goblin Handy. And they have the same year. That's got to be a year. They both say 1995. This is 86. Now, what other paperwork do we have? We have the oh gosh, accessory tools. Your accessories have been improved to include a separate curved hose. When important, your cleaner is, in fit, is fitted with improved clips. Very good. Oh, and here's the other service dude. Uh, revision 9 versus Revision 4. Who knows, I'll be honest. We'll just assume that they're okay. So we'll put those together, we'll put those together. That's very nice to have that in. We do like a bit of paperwork and then the next thing to come out of the box is the machine itself. Nothing else in there. <laughs> Here's the receipt from the charity shop, look. Bric-a-brac, £7.50. So £7.50 plus postage plus a drink for Mr Matthew is what I paid for this lovely lovely machine it was just sat in a charity shop right let's have a look at the little thing itself oh isn't it cute so being a budget cleaner we do not have automatic call me right we have to wrap the cable around the vacuum itself there are no wheels either and we have some remarkably good condition glider pads so it literally just glides around it's basically goblin's equivalent of the Hoover Jet, and it wouldn't fully surprise me if Hoover bought out the Jet in response to these. Because I think these were quite popular because they were very cheap and not, you know, horrific in terms of longevity. They weren't too bad. So, there we go. Oh, yes, we've got a electrical pat test look in November because it's from a charity shop these wouldn't have come with a fitted plug I don't think so that's why it has this perfectly nice white one on it <sighs> here we go then I did find a rating sticker here we go so it is 800 watts I've never known anybody be able to date one of these from the serial number so we should have to have a look at that but yeah made in Ireland 
back when Goblin were an actual company, not just a name for cheap Chinese crap. So if we lift up this, this is the motor unit. If we pick off this filter, which is a little bit dirty, we can straight away see the motor and that is pretty much all that is going to be in there. Just the motor. So I'll pop that back on there. Obviously we have a spare filter, but that should wash up okay. Probably just keep that spare filter. And then here is the dust box. So if we lift out the filter, it's a bagless machine. Ah, there's a big old date wheel in there. I probably can't show you it though. It's down there and it says January slash February 89. So 19... 89 how lovely so yeah basically the dirt just goes in there and it's all kept at bay with this filter look this little elastic filter it's actually good that it does that because that'll just go through the washing machine very nicely indeed it sits over this plastic cage now i've got to try and get the sodding thing back on i wish i'd done that now That just so you can tip that out, bash that out, and put that back in there. Hence, why I said cheap. There is no way at all, short of a lot of gluing, to get anything on there because that's flat. I can't even HEPA flow that. So, hey ho. So, I'll put that on there. We'll sit this back. No, you go on. We'll sit this back on. That'll do you. And then put the clips in. Clip. Clip. Ah, lovely. We'll fit the little hose. Now I think I'd best just lean behind me and plug it in. And we'll see what it sounds like. That's not bad. Probably going to need a little bit of oil on one of the bearings, but that's perfectly acceptable, really. Oh, there we go. Look, there's only one one, which isn't really a problem. Let's be honest, they're just plastic ones. Find another one of those. I'm going to be stooped down for this bit. I think I'll just stay leaning down there. Because we can give it a go. And it's I can't even talk over that. This floor tool is really nice to use. It grips itself to the carpet and just glides along. I'm not sure how great it would be on deep pile, I'll be honest. But we can give that a go. Should we? I don't know really, it's probably going to be really rubbish for Cheerios because it's, it'll just snow plow the heck out of them. I'm not quite sure I want to put just sand down. I know what we can use. This on the floor is all of the dirt that came out of the Goblin laser. So it's a little bit fitting that we should be putting it back into another Goblin. Now I've cheated a little bit and found the wands for mum's heavy because they are only 32 millimeter tubes they just sit upside down so i can now stand up and we'll give this little thing a go
guys here there is now no suction on there that's also put all that hair there but it got it all this is now running rather warm oh gosh and the weight of it's just pushed me filter off so that's slightly annoying and inside there wow see that's the problem with these all of the dirt and obviously this is a lot of dirt just goes straight onto that filter and then clogs it solid so these are not you know frequent use things by any means at all right let's get this cleaned up a little bit and then we'll sum up now we'll keep the goblin theme going because i can fit the crevice tool onto crap henry look with its horrible rubber end that is still got it from the diy that it did so we can clean this up a little bit go back in its box for a while so I don't want it to sit there festering I'd rather it sit there clean but yeah you can see what I mean when I say these are yeah, light juice cleaners what we can do quickly though is try out this floor to one of the machines with some actual suction rapidly turning into one of my favourite floor tools. That's lovely. So yes, there we go. We have our little goblin unboxed. We made it filthy. We've cleaned it back out. Now it's time to stick it back in its box. And actually, I think it's probably got the original styrofoam as well. Which will probably have sat like that. So there's a thing. Look, we've got some of the original packaging as well. So we'll wrap the cable back up on this very budget, I'm going to say 80s, even though it's sold into the 90s, vacuum cleaner. Very cool little thing. How about you get like four wraps around this and then you can't put the plug anywhere. There's no clip. So obviously they'd rather you spend extra on the, there's a picture of it in here. Model 205, which had the automatic cord rewind. But we didn't because we're cheap. Well, the person who bought this is cheap. Not going to bother packaging it all back up because it's not going to go in the postal system again. Just drop all the tools in there. Pop the hose in and the bent end. Oh. 
put all the paperwork away. Yeah, it's nice to have the paperwork for the handy because I don't think my box goblin handy has its paperwork. I don't think you've seen my box goblin handy, have you? Let's get that out for a play one day. Oh, it's lovely. Yeah, yeah, clean the filter disc when empty. Yeah, you're gonna need to, man. You're gonna need to. So there we go, my little bit of retro. Yeah, yeah, box is a bit knackered, but it holds the machine. And I can put a bit of tape over it without really minding so much now because a little bit of sellotape on the end. And yes, there we go, my another goblin. I've got a couple of goblins now. Rio 800. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this, and I shall see you soon. Bye bye.